Hi, this is JJ from Orange Wedding Films and today I'm gonna show you really quick my um, EBF setup that I recently added. A couple of people that saw the uh, Cinevate uh, FLT, Atlas FLT slider video um, mentioned then asked me about the new uh, setup that I have for my EBF. I used to have on top of my camera coming off the side and looking down looking like this but I got the new setup now with the, the Gorilla Play bracket and the pincher. Both of them are very useful, very helpful, important component that I added to the EBF. A couple things that enhance those setup the most is being able to use the audio, the shotgun mic on, on the shoe that you have on the top. Because if you put your EBF on the hot shoe, then you won't be able to anything else on the on the shoe. So this bracket allows you to have it kind of offside. Your camera is off to your right and the same eye level. Um, I shoot with the left eye because I awkward, but um, so that you can actually have a handheld. This bracket will give you another um, the point of contact with your body plus the your right hand in your eye through the Z Finder, and if you have another components like myself that I purchased a long time ago from Zakuro if you have something like this and you can simply attach it and you pretty much are ready to go for your running gun style so and that's super stable and also like an outdoor shoot or you know somewhere you have to run, run around with uh, less bags and um, less stuff less accessories to carry on like a monopod or tripod this setup or simply um, anything without this part is super stable you can carry around like this so to your rig is again the Zakuro is famous with the, all the adjustable um, everything is adjustable right so having this bracket you can actually have it out as out as you want or as close as you want to the camera and there's a several knobs that you can twist and turn things you can adjust the height with this this knob right here and you can have this knob that can adjust the uh, direction that you're facing you can also do sideways as well and one thing I definitely recommend is this the quick release mount on your EVF instead of the, the screw not only is it good for the the quick release but also because you have this knob uh, this quick release mount you can actually adjust anywhere you want if you have this ball screw you won't be able to do that so I definitely recommend to have that and sorry for all the rattling sound so next components you have I have here is the pincher um, the pincher securely hold the mini HDMI cable I myself have a couple instant where I was shooting with the EVF and I was getting out of the car and I hit the, the ceiling while I was getting out and I hit a mini HDMI port, hit the ceiling, and it just broke like that. I wasn't even pushing that hard. And as most of you know, the mini HDMI cable is very infamous being really weak and easy to break. So having something like this, you can literally hold the whole rig like this will never come up. So you feel very secure and safe having this pincher there. So if you're going um, place where things are a little small and um, with a lot of people and a lot of different rigs around you and this can easily break and I'm sure a lot of people experience already that this breaks really easily so having something like this um, really help to have your Zakuto EVF rig and then let's see oh also the I love the placement how they designed it so that you can still have all the access to the the audio cable the USB cable, HDMI cable, and the flash uh, for the time lapse or something like that. So that's they designed this so that you can still have a full access to all those ports on the side. The biggest thing is that you can use your Zakuto EVF without worrying about the breaking the EVF, uh, the cable, HDMI cable, or having any awkward position to shoot. So this one is very comfortable on my hand. Still access to your focus ring and everything, and get a being able to use the the EVF. So the Kuro recommends you to have the 
mini HDMI cable that came with the EVF to be able to use on the pincher, but I'm sure they can t help you with um, non Zakuto HDMI cable, how to set up the pincher and everything. And they also developed so that you can adjust the height and the, the direction of the pincher, the hook coming out. So different kind of DSLR, you can still use it. And I think that's it. I love this setup. Uh, one thing I would recommend though, this is not that easy to take it apart and put it back in. So I'll probably leave my setup like this, meaning I have a big, bigger bag that I used to own for XHA1 and the bigger camera, and I'll just kind of leave it like this. So it's better because whenever I need to shoot something really quick, I can just literally pull up, power the camera, power the EVF, and I'll be ready to go. Instead of you know putting all the components back in, you'll be ready kind of like this and I can pull my gear anytime I want to and it's it almost feels like I'm having a I own a uh, the video camera that can just um, start shooting like this without putting all the you know the rigs back on and the, the shouldering and anything like that so I I really like this new setup and if you have any question just go to my Facebook page that I answer all the questions and answers so www.facebook.com slash JJ Orange QA Alright, thank you so much for watching.